Hey guys, so I'm in my car. I'm about to go. I'm about to go get my hair cut, but I wanted to talk really quick this morning um, about something that I've really been thinking a lot about lately. Um, and especially having girls, it's something that is very important to me. Um, and that is the problem with people, women especially, and girls growing up with um, poor body image. And I read somewhere one time that they did a study among four-year-olds, uh, girls and boys, um, but they did a study in a classroom with four-year-olds. And across the board, there were zero four-year-olds that had any problem looking at a picture of themselves and picking out positive things about themselves. They had no problem flipping through a magazine and pointing out pictures of other children that they felt like were similar to themselves. Um, however, by about age eight in second grade, that completely changed. And um, the issue was predominantly with girls in that hardly any of them um, could, could, could find someone in that picture that they felt like, you know, was very similar to them. It was harder for them to point out positive things about themselves, specifically their body. They noticed a lot more negative comments coming out about their body. Um, and that's so, it's so sad and it's so hard, especially when those of us that are raising girls, like we, we don't want that shift to happen. And so, um, I was going to do a little series about um, overcoming poor body image, but I, I feel like it really starts with ourselves, and I feel like a lot of us have or do struggle with this. I think on some level, all of us struggle with it um, from time to time, but here's some important questions to ask yourself. If you feel like you're falling in the trap of negativity when it comes to your body, um, especially if you have a hard time looking at pictures of yourself and wanting to pick out the negative things, I want you to ask yourself uh, the following questions um, the next time you fall into that trap. Okay, question number one. Are you hoping to achieve something? What are you hoping to achieve if you think you could fix whatever it is about your body? Are you falling into the trap and thinking that if you could fix X about your body that you would somehow be happier, that you would be more successful, that someone would love you more, because none of that is really true. Um, we need to have the confidence to love ourselves the way we are now. Now, there's nothing wrong with um, wanting to, you know, with having goals and wanting to achieve better things, but to pick ourselves apart and be so negative to ourselves, that is when we'll kind of continue that downward spiral. So ask yourself, you know, is it that you're just hoping to achieve something else? Do you think that's going to solve your problem if you fixed whatever it was about your body that you're picking apart in a photo? Uh, number two, is there something else going on that is triggering this for you? Is there some kind of outside stress in your life that is causing you to kind of turn inward and project this onto yourself? Um, next time you fall into that trap, try and think about you know, do you have other stresses going on? Um, and maybe that's the issue that needs to be dealt with instead of picking yourself apart. Um, and lastly, are you being kind? Is that, are you being kind to yourself? You know, we always try to be kind to others, but you need to be kind to yourself. It's what you're telling yourself something that you would be able to turn around and tell your child. And chances are that's no. So those are just some important questions to ask yourself if you feel like you're kind of going down that path of uh, poor body image and negativity. Um, ask yourself those questions and, and hopefully that'll kind of help pull you out of that rut. Um, I'm going to continue this with uh, talking more about encouraging girls, especially um, some things you can do in your home to kind of uh, encourage girls to not go down that path. Um, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.